is still. Um, well, I think most many of your uh, many of the people on the line know that um, for a number of years now um, we've had uh, generic uh, prescription drugs for what we call chemical uh, chemical drugs. In other words, those that are basically made using a chemical compound. And generics have been a way for us to really reduce costs because many times they're you know they may be only 20 percent sometimes of the actual cost of a name brand drug. But there are a group of uh, drugs that are called biologics, basically deal with, uh, you know, uh, I guess live organisms, if you will, rather than, uh, rather than chemical compounds. Uh, probably the best well-known would be insulin, for example. But there are many others that, um, you know, have not been uh, subject to uh, uh, approval for a generic. In other words, they're just operating, uh, you know, under, under a patent. And um, if we can... If we can take those biological drugs and, and, and uh, provide a, a generic equivalent, uh, we can save a lot of money because many of these um, uh, biologic drugs are very expensive. And um, there's every reason to believe um, that the FDA can put together a process where they actually approve uh, a generic biologic. And uh, we have legislation, you mentioned the name of it, that would accomplish that. Um, we're hoping that we can move the bill uh, through my health subcommittee, you know, within the next month or so. There are competing bills, though, because some people think that the, uh, the time period for exclusivity, in other words, before the patent expires and you can approve the generic, should be longer than others. The, the bill that I have introduced only has a five-year exclusivity period, in other words, five years before the patent expires, which is the same as we have for chemical drugs. But others say that it should be longer, and there's another bill out there, for example, that has 12 years. Then there's the whole issue of, you know, are they completely interchangeable, and whether or not, uh, you know, the FDA can establish a process. And I think it can. And in fact, in Europe, they have a process. So we're trying to do this, and it's a, it's a, if we can, it'll be a, a major way to reduce costs. Thank you, Congressman Malone. And we do know that there are competing bills, and we recognize that your bill is much stronger. It will get life-saving drugs at a cheaper cost to consumers sooner, and, and that's our goal. So thank you very much for that.